Hi guys, today we are learning how to connect Raspberry Pi to a laptop. That is, how can we make a laptop desktop as a Raspberry Pi monitor? To do so, we need few software applications and a simple network setup. Before doing that, we would know what are the softwares we are using. We use DHCP server, Putty, and XMIC. XMIC runs programs in the background and DHCP server assigns some static IP address to the Raspberry Pi and Putty EXE will connect to Raspberry Pi via SSH terminal and brings the GUI into your laptop display. Before we go into the exact setup, we have to change some network settings. So I go to open and network and sharing center, change adapter settings and then here you can see here our Ethernet connections and identified network. I mean before we are making all these procedures we have to connect our Raspberry Pi and laptop with the Ethernet cable that is a LAN cable and power on a Raspberry Pi. After doing that, we have to do these steps. Okay, now here is the Ethernet cable showing as Ethernet port showing as unidentified network, and I right click on it and go to properties. Now I select IPv4, Internet Protocol 4, select that and go to properties here it is obtain an IP address automatically but we are going to assign some static IP address so we use the following IP address here I am going to type some IP address that is 192.168.2.1 and subnet mask when you click on it you will get subnet mask ok but you might have a doubt why we have typed this IP address Usually our IP address start with this 192 and 168 and these are two different classes. You can use this IP address. It doesn't make any problem where you are. Okay, now we have completed this. Press OK. Close and close this network connections and go to clearing center. Now you go to XMIC. Uh, I have already install my xmi you can see here I have two shortcuts on my desktop so first double click on xmi it runs that's all and now click on x launch now you have to do nothing just press next 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 and finish now we can see here xmi will be running now go to dhcp server now you have to press here dhcpserve.exe and you can see here the status is not installed and not configured now go to admin now click on install and click on start now it shows running be aware you have to always check this status running and you have to configure here and this should always be configured now go to yes now you can press continue as spray app and yes now go to dhcpvis.exe press next and select the ethernet port and the ip address we have set to it 192.168.2.1 and now press next and again next and here we have to change the ip address that we are assigning to raspberry pi i want to assign the ip address 192.168.2.100 and you can use the same and I will change this to 105 now press next uh, click on the checkbox here or write the existing file now write INI file and now go to next now run DHCP server it's showing the status running and configured now click on finish now continue as Straya and yes when you do this for the first time it takes some time 
and you will see a pop up here showing DHCP server is assigning IP address 192.168.2.100 and when you see that your DHCP server will be assigning the IP address and now we can go to putty.exe open it and now you have this you have to change this IP address to 192.168.2.100 the IP address that we have given in our DHCP setup and now go to SSH click on X11 and always see that enable x11 forward is, is clicked like this and now again go to session see that it's ssh always and now open now you will see such a window open and you will ask a potential security warning then you press s now it says login as the default login and passwords of raspberry pi are pi and the password is raspberry so pi pi and enter now it's asking me password password is r a s p b e r r y raspberry you can't see the password get typed there but it goes and you press enter now you got pi at the rate raspberry pi now we have to type l x s e s s I O N LX session to get the GUI of Raspberry Pi. Now we are going to get the Raspberry Pi. I'm pressing the enter. Yes, now you have got everything the GUI of Raspberry Pi. Okay, now this is not the Raspberry, this is not the GUI setup you get usually when you connect your Raspberry Pi to an HDMI port. To your monitor but you don't have any menu or options here so I will make some folder here something named view anything now I open this folder now you can see this is desktop you have a new folder and you can see the applications here see you have accessories You have accessories, you have a calculator, you have image viewer and leaf pad. This is a Python programming tool and LX terminal, the terminal of this Raspbian OS and root terminal and minimum. And here we have graphics and here we have internet. Internet we have web browsers in this and preferences. Here we have see monitor settings, desktop preference, desktop settings open configuration manager audio device and appearance settings and we will be having some other for configuring wi-fi here we have a pi store you can download few applications from them here we have programming for programming this ideal using python scratch sony pi and here we go some other applications Okay, I'm not finding the Wi-Fi configuration tool. It generally exists. I don't know where it has gone. Uh, audio device tools. Okay, I hope I can find you at the other time in the future classes. Thank you. And in the future class, we will be learning about LX terminal, how to access the folders of Raspberry Pi, and and some simple python programming some linux commands i hope you like this video thank you